Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mr. Kulik. Ha ha ha. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review for you guys today. Um, since it's a snow day here in Minnesota, why not celebrate with doing a video instead of doing homework? Yeah, today I'm doing a video on um, two new products that I found that I picked up. So I'm here to show you guys what my thoughts are. So I went to Walmart and I saw these two products um, that I have never seen before and I haven't ever saw a video on it either. So I was like, I'm gonna pick them up. So um, it is the Garnier Fruitis Style Power Wax Spray Disorder and then the Garnier Fruitis Style Power Hairspray for Men and Order. So pretty much it's a summary of these two products. Like this one is um, like a texture spray and this one's like an extra hair spray. Um, I never heard of a power wax spray before, and I was curious. I was like, what is a power wax spray? You know? So I was like, I don't think it's going to be a pure spray, but it's going to be like a, maybe like a texture, maybe like a texture spray, or maybe, um, okay, I was thinking it could be like a, like a wax and a spray. <laughs> and that makes sense, like a wax and a spray. You know, that was a pile of thought. So, that was what I was thinking when I saw this. I was like, a oh, power wax spray. Very interesting. So I picked up these two because these are the, uh, the two, the line that it comes in. Power, power wax spray and the power hair spray. So we're going to get started with this one. This is the, the disorder one. Um, it claims, let's read this back. It says it disorder your style for a messy texture look. It says it's unique wax spray, 24 hour flexible control, dries fast, no visible residue, never sticky or rigid, natural feeling finish, and natural matte look. With the uh, uh, flexible control of 5. Um, I thought I was, I was very interested in it because um, it's like a texture mess. I, I like that kind of um, kind of hair, you know, not just heavy like your standard like, up here. You know, I like that messy, um, volume look. <laughs> so I, I, I really, my thoughts on this is I really like this one. This is um, my favorite out of the two. This is, this is a hair, this is a hair product that I would use if I had five minutes to get ready and I would like, run out the door. I'm just gonna spray this in my hair and then just like work it in my hair and then leave out the door. You know, if I had five minutes to ready, this is the product that I would use from all the other hair stuff that I have. This is the one that I would use for like a, my my go-to hair product to go. Hair product to go to go. This is the hair product I would use if I had to go up into a five minutes. This is the one I use with spray, working your hair, and then you're good to go. It gives you that nice texture look and a matte finish like that. The next one is called the order one. This is uh, like your finishing hairspray. Like after you're done with your hair, after you put your pomade in or like your wax or whatever you use in your hair, this is the product that you use after. So after you're done with that, you just spray it in, it has the locks in the whole day, and then you're good to go. Um, the claims are locks here in order for a neat finished look. Uh, next generation of hairspray, 24 hours extra stronghold, dries fast, no visible residue, never sticky or rigid, uh, natural shine and resist humidity. Um, yes. So this is the product that you will use for finishing your hair. Or you can just do this, like you just spray your hair and just comb it. If you want to do like the uh, comb over side part, you just spray this comb it and you're good to go. Or you can use it uh, Spray, which is what I use, but um, the other night I actually used it last time so just uh, spray. Um, I just sprayed it in my hair and then um, and then I used it on a comb and I kind of like that comb it, tease it up, kind of, kind of, kind of tease it up. I was just combing it in my hair and then it was good to go for my class. I just want to, I wanted to try this on the wall. Um, now without using like a pomade or something in my hair. So this is what I use. I spray it in my hair and just comb it. It did give me that whole. About these two products is that they have that citrus, tetrine smell to it. Um, I don't know if you really, if you really 
spot on that. I'm not so quite on the, the citrus smell, you know. I feel like um, if you have, if this has a scent, like this kind of overpowers your cologne that you're wearing, you know. So I'm not too fond of hair products. I don't know if it's that scent. I mean, okay, I am kind of, but not really. Okay. Okay, if it, if it has like a slight scent, then I'm okay with it, but these definitely has like that scent you can smell. It. Um, but I feel like it does kind of, the scent kind of dies off the day, I guess you could say. So this is my So between these two products, this one is my favorite. Um, I use this actually a lot because uh, it's so easy to use. Like you just spray your hair and then you just work it in and you're good. While this one you it's like a finishing spray, hairspray, you use after you're done. After you're done you doing your hair, you use this. So um, if you are interested, go check out these products. Um, you can check out Walmart. I'm not too sure if Target has them, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that Walmart sells them. Um, if not, you can check the link down below. I'll link the links down below for these two products so you guys can check that out. Um, yeah, so if you're interested, go check these out products and stuff or not. If you found, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up so I know. Um, yeah, sand is it for this video. Uh, definitely my links are down below. You can check me out on my Instagram. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I've been waiting all day.